I've always spoken directly and honestly to you, the Russian people. Let me say this, if you're able to listen. You, the Russian people, are not our enemy. I refuse to believe that you welcome the killing of innocent children and grandparents, or that you accept hospitals, schools, maternity wards, and for God's sake, being pummeled with Russian missiles and bombs, or cities being surrounded so that civilians cannot flee, supplies cut off, and attempting to starve Ukrainians into submissions. Millions of families are being driven from their homes, including half of all Ukraine's children. These are not the actions of a great nation. Of all people, you, the Russian people, as well as all people across Europe, still have the memory of being in a similar situation in the late 30s and 40s, a situation in World War II, still fresh in the minds of many grandparents in the region. Whatever your generation experienced, whether it experienced the siege of Leningrad or heard about it from your parents and grandparents, train stations overflowing with terrified families fleeing their homes, nights sheltering in basements and cellars, mornings sitting through the rubble in your homes. These are not memories of the past, not anymore, because it's exactly what the Russian army is doing in Ukraine right now. March 26, 2022, just days before we're at the 21st, you were a 21st century nation with hopes and dreams that people all over the world have for themselves and their family. Now, Vladimir Putin's aggression have cut you, the Russian people, off from the rest of the world. And it's taking Russia back to the 19th century. This is not who you are. This is not the future reserve you deserve for your families and your children. I'm telling you the truth. This war is not worthy of you, the Russian people. Putin can and must end this war. The American people will stand with you and the brave citizens of Ukraine who want peace. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.